What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Welcome back to another great video with Everything Abron. We are continuing the project carbon fiber for the GTR. And as you guys can see by the thumbnail, we are moving on to these two boxes here. As you guys have seen in the past few videos, we've got the side skirt, we've got the front lip, we've got the side vents, and of course, I've already had the trunk, but you guys seen that before, that's carbon fiber. Today is just another video, another amazing mod we're gonna be doing for this car, and we're making our way inside today. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day we add some big mods, some big aesthetic mods to the interior of my GTR. Today, we are tackling the steering wheel, not just the steering wheel, but also these guys back here, the paddle shifters. Of course, to go with the carbon fiber theme I have on the inside as well as the outside, we got ourselves a new carbon fiber steering wheel, keeping the red and black theme, which you'll see here in a second. And then we got the paddles. They're also carbon fiber. So without further ado, let's get going. So. First things first, before you touch anything, because we are gonna be dealing with the airbag, you gotta disconnect your negative terminal on the battery so that we don't have any explosions or any issues like that. Hopefully you can see, but on each side of your steering wheel, there's these little plastic caps on this side and then as well as on the other side. So as always, when I'm taking off little clips like this, plastic clips or any type of like body panel or whatnot, I personally like to use plastic pry bars. If you kind of slide out on accident and you rub your dash or whatever, plastic won't scratch it. But here you go. There's the first one. And there's the second one. If you look inside, which you guys probably cannot see from there, it is a Torx bit. What specific Torx bit, you ask? It is a security bit and it is a T30 security bit. I picked this guy up at a local hardware store. Um, I'll put a link below. Again, as always, it's gonna be an affiliate link. So if you do purchase from my link, I say thank you because I will receive a commission. So by security bit, it pretty much means it's a Torx with that hole drilled out in the center. I'm not too sure why Nissan did that, but nonetheless, that's what it is. Let's go ahead and get these guys loosened up. They're a little snug, definitely a little snug. So make sure you got that bit in there good. I'm gonna the other side, take this guy off. All right, now that that guy's off, your airbag should come forward. So kind of give it a tug back and forward. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see there, there's these two tabs here. There's a orange one and a yellow one. You're gonna actually have to uh, pull up on this little black tab. Matter of fact, I'll just bring you closer. Those little tabs, as you can see there, you're gonna have to pull up on those you go underneath pull up not too hard so you don't break it and then that'll allow these to come out once you have your airbag out go ahead and set it aside you want to face it with the gtr facing up because if for some freak accident happens it's going to explode up and it won't shoot the actual airbag somewhere now inside here you can see we have access to multiple things actually we have access to the main bolt but before you take that out over here on the left hand side you've got your connector for all your steering wheel controls you got your little ground cord you need to disconnect that guy there see if i can get that off with one hand there you go and then this clip here on the back side you have to push in pull out towards you there you go and there's that clip so this bolt here in the center that's actually a 19 millimeter bolt. Before you take off the center bolt, you wanna make sure your wheel is locked. Mine is currently locked in this position, so we are pretty much ready to go. All right guys, so now that I got that bolt out the way, uh, one thing you wanna do before you actually take it off, there's technically already a mark on the actual steering wheel shaft, and you wanna make a mark. What I like to do is not only make one mark, but kind of make two kind of catty corner if that makes sense because obviously you want to make sure you put this guy back on correctly and in the same manner um, pull your cables aside there's another little clip at the bottom for the airbag bolts as you can see down here just kind of sits in between that groove there pull out to the left get those out the way it should come off relatively easy hopefully all right here we go kind of wiggling it back and forward i feel it getting loose and there we go so let's pull it straight off Make sure you don't catch your cables. And there you go. Technically next up, we actually gotta go to the workbench, transfer some stuff from this steering wheel to the other one. Before we actually go over there, I'm going to actually get off these guys. So in order to take off your paddle shifters, 
there's these two bolts which are hidden behind another little plastic clip. I took the one on the left off. So once again, use your little plastic pry bar, kind of get behind it, and then kind of give it a tug. Then go ahead and take off those screws. Once you get those two screws off, um, the side panels of your steering wheel hub should pop off. Kind of just give them a little tug on all sides. There you go. And there's your right side one. I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer so you can see better. So there's a total of three screws or bolts, if you will, that we're gonna have to take off. Um, this one at the bottom, it's a screw. Um, right here is a bolt, looks like a 10 millimeter. And then back here, you have yourself another bolt, looks like a 10 millimeter. So we'll take all three of those off. All right guys, and now that you got all those bolts off, I went ahead and took the ones on the right off as well. Just kind of pull down on the bottom, and as you can see, your paddles already want to come off. So you pull towards you, take the assembly off of that front stud there, and it's held on by a clip in the back. Just push the white clip in, and there you go. There's your left side paddle shifter. I'm gonna take off both of them, and we're gonna make our way over to the workbench now. All right guys, so now that we're over at the workbench, now it's time to get your first look at the paddle shifters and the new steering wheel. So we'll start with the paddle shifters. Hopefully you guys can see, but these guys are beautiful. Carbon fiber, once again. Oh man, they're just so shiny and glossy. And I got the little emblems there to match with the red. It's the subtleties. Once again, it's the subtleties, guys. As you can see there, they're a lot larger than the stock ones. But again, I'll save this to last. So guys, as you can see, we got the red and the black carbon fiber here and look at that wow just look at that guys it's a lot thicker than the stock one that red carbon fiber that's just going to coordinate great with the inside of the gtr we got to take off this back panel here on the old steering wheel it's essentially just held on by clips and there we go guys it's a little finicky um, give you an up close look at where those clips are. There's four of them. There's one here, two there, three there, four there. Set that aside because you'll need that. Next up, we're actually going to turn our attention to the front face plate. There's only a few screws, three little Phillips heads, and that's literally all you got to take off for that guy. Once you guys have that off, cords come free. It's already loose. And there you go. There's your front face panel with all the buttons and one thing that you also got to take off is your little airbag spring the two springs inside there if you can kind of see make sure you don't lose those we're going to be using some torx bix over here on the inside so it's just a regular t40 and we'll go ahead and take that guy off there we go guys we'll go ahead and kind of lift up on them and in the bottom here it just kind of tucks in between this little space here. There's one of your springs. The other spring is actually still sitting on there. And there you go. There's your bare bones OEM steering wheel. All right, so just working in reverse order, we're gonna take the airbag spring. Make sure you got both of your springs in there and on there. The bottom tab here fits right between the opening here and your springs. They simply just sit in that same spot as they were before. All right, springs are back on. And let's get these screws started. Now, onto the faceplate. Your cord, that's important how to route it, goes actually around the back. And it's going to come back into the center. And it's going to clip in to that same little groove that was there before. There's little alignment tabs on the back, if you guys can see those. So you put those alignment tabs into the holes and push it till it's flush with the surface. Flip it over to the front and we'll go ahead and screw these guys back in. I'm turning my drill all the way down to the lowest possible setting because you don't want to strip anything out. So last thing we got to do is you're going to take this guy, flip it, press it on there. So now those clips which are super difficult to get off should just clip right in. And it was actually a silent clip. Let me make sure they are in there. Yeah, uh, they were silent clips. They didn't make a click sound. I was hoping to hear a nice audible click. 
And that's that. Steering wheel is ready to go back in the car. So now turn my attention over to the paddle shifters. First things first, what you need to do is push out this pin. I'm gonna push from the bottom up towards the top. And what I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna try to use, is just some Allen wrenches. I'll be able to get super close to the actual diameter of the hole here. So let me do that real quick. All right, so they are nice and firm in there, I'm not gonna lie. So you gotta give it a nice, decent push. Um, and make sure you're pushing on the pin and not anything else. There you go. Hopefully you saw that, that went quick. So we got this guy here, your left side paddle shifter. On the back side, as you see here, there's your little button mechanism. You need to take that button mechanism out. So I'm gonna keep it in the same orientation so I don't put it in wrong. So I'm taking it right out. It's going right back in to the new one. Continuing forward, that guy is now going right back in to here. Put it in place. And then pin from the top down. Once you get that in there, that's how you change that out. Right, so we are now ready to put the paddle shifters back in. We're pretty much just going to reverse all the stuff that we did already. Got to clip in first. Kind of pull over on the tab just a little bit. We'll go ahead and start installing. You're going to install those three bolts. So just snug them up. You don't have to go super crazy tight, uh, but just give them a good snugging. And then once you have those on, we're ready to move on to the next part. Now that you got those three bolts in place, um, that one there, um, the one in the back, and the ones down here at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and put our side pieces back on, uh, those ones you took off earlier. Go ahead and grab your screws from earlier, those little Phillips screws. Again, keep your drill on the lowest setting if you're using a drill. It's all aligned, all looks good, all looks perfect. Go ahead and get your clips. Clip those back in place to cover those screw holes. One thing I wanted to mention that I forgot to earlier is make sure you don't move your clock spring. Um, I've kept it at top dead center. There's this little white tab which will line up with the back of your steering wheel. Go ahead and feed your airbag wires through the bottom hole, um, the same location as they were before. And we're gonna go ahead and line up our steering wheel. And this is where that mark that you made earlier is gonna come into handy. You go ahead and bring you closer. There's my mark in there lined up perfectly top dead center. There's a little tab back there for the clock spring. Your airbag cables, go ahead and put them back in that groove down there at the bottom over here on the left side. Put that back in the slot. Let's go ahead and connect that guy now. There we go. Click that in place. Go ahead and put your grounding tab back on there. And just double checking before you move on that you are lined up. You were where you were earlier. Go ahead and get this guy screwed on and torqued down. And the torque specs for that bolt there is actually 25 foot pounds boom 25 foot pounds once you got your airbag in hand um, as you can see it's color coded your connectors that you have here they are supposed to go in a specific spot so with that black tab that you pulled up staying up you'll go ahead and get ready and slide them into place it's only going one way so you put it on there click down on the black tab the next one on there Click on the black tab. Go ahead and make sure your wires kind of loop around so that they're not going to be hit or pinched on anything. Go ahead and slide your airbag back in place. Time to go ahead and put those security bolts back on. I'm going to start with doing it by hand. Go ahead and get those guys tightened down nice and snug. You don't have to go crazy, but definitely get them nice and snug. Last but not least, your little clips, the ones you pulled off way at the beginning. And you'll go ahead and press those guys back into place and ladies and gentlemen just like that you have now successfully changed out your paddle shifters and your entire gtr's steering wheel i'm just speechless i don't even know what to say it is just looking more and more beautiful day by day this is a great holiday season and just like that ladies and gentlemen like i said you guys have now completed another great carbon fiber project for your nissan gtr got rid of the old stock oem red and black steering wheel which is not bad to be quite honest black edition steering wheel is very nice so i'll probably sell this you'll probably see this up thank you be sure you guys stay tuned we do have more parts coming i actually got one part that just came in right now nonetheless there's parts still coming in more carbon fiber yes a lot of money has been spent this holiday season. It looks beautiful. It's worth it. I think it's worth it. I hope it's worth it. But I'm gonna call it quits for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll check you out very soon in the next one.